Hi guys, it's Amber from Amber Eats Books and I'm here today to do yet another tag video. I am killing it with the tag videos. I think I may be caught up on all the videos as of today when I'm filming that everyone has tagged me in in the last couple of weeks. So yay! Um, today I'm here to do the OK So Booksickly tag. I follow actually OK So Booksickly here on booktube. I love his videos. Um, but I was tagged by Jordan from Jordan Lavery, and she has a great channel as well. So I will leave both of their videos down below. Please go check them out. The first question is, tell us about your channel name and your real name. Well, my real name is Amber, obviously, and my channel name is Amber Eats Books. I came up with that name because at the time when I first started making videos here on booktube, I was just going through books like crazy. I think I was reading up to five books a week. Um, that was before I had gotten my job and now that I'm working I don't read quite as many books. But um, yeah, I was just going through them so quickly. So at first I wanted my channel name to be, here's a fun fact, Amber Devours Books. I just love that name. but. I was trying to make it the same over all of the social media platforms that I have and it was too long for Twitter so I ended up changing it to Amber Eats Books and now I'm glad that I did because I actually really love that name even more than the original. So yeah, little story on how I got my channel name. Question number two is open Instagram and chat about the first three pictures. So the first three pictures I have in my feed Hopefully you guys will be able to see this on, on camera. The first one is a beautiful picture by Book Owl Love. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, there we go. It's a gorgeous picture. I really love that. The next picture is one by, oh, I'm going to butcher this, Olala We. I'm thinking this is someone from definitely another country because it's a Robin Hobb book, but it is in another language. But it's a gorgeous picture as well. And Robin Hobb covers are just amazing in my opinion. And then the next picture that I have is from Nisam, Nisamapraka. I don't know if I said that correctly. Again, I follow booktubers from all over the world, and it is a book by Ian McEwen, if you guys can see that. It's so hard, the glare. I've never done this before with the laptop. So yeah, that was talking about the first three pictures here on Instagram. Question number three is open YouTube and talk about the first three videos. I'm actually gonna talk about the first three in my subscriptions feed. I don't know, some people talked about the first three on their homepage and because I'm doing it on my laptop, it opens a little differently than on my phone. Um, so I'm just gonna talk about the first three in my subscription feed. The first one is reading goals, update and st statistics. Why can't I say that word? By Katie Loves to Read. I absolutely adore these videos by her. Um, I love any videos that have like pie graphs and, and just facts about what they have read. Um, so I will definitely be watching that very soon. Actually, as I'm looking at it, I'm going to be adding it to my, my watch later. Um, the next video that I have is Monday Missions number 101 by Becky M. I love Becky M. She has such great viewpoints into books, so I'm adding that one to my watch later. <laughs> Most of the ones in my subscription feed I do add to watch later. The only ones that I'm not super crazy about, I guess, in general terms on BookTube are um, unboxings. I'm just not a huge fan of them. I will watch them here or there. Um, but if you see one owl crate unboxing, I feel like you've seen them all. So I tend to skip over those ones. The next one in my subscription feed is Five April Releases by Charlie Book Fanatic. And I love her. She has such a great personality. So definitely will be watching that. I will link all of their, their channels down below so you guys can go ahead and check them out if you have not. The next question is question number four. Your favorite song to listen to while reading, writing, and how many plays has it got? To be very honest with you, I listen to no music while I am reading. And if I am ever writing, I don't listen to music either. I'm too highly distracted <laughs> to listen to anything. Question number five is favorite book on your shelf at the moment. Over spring break, which was just this past week, 
the kids and I watched um, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. And for Christmas, my daughter had gotten me a book based on that movie. And I had been hesitant about reading it before watching the movie because I didn't want to spoil myself for anything. So now that I've watched the movie, I am so excited to be able to pick this up and read it. This is not one that I'm going to just read cover to cover. This is one that I will pick up here and there and kind of look through and just work my way through it slowly to kind of, um, you know, really savor it. It is just a fantastic book. Haha, <laughs> fantastic, get it? But it has like, it has different things in it that other books don't have. Um, little things that pop out and come out and just a lot of fun stuff. So I really, I can't wait to look at this book more closely. Number six, favorite bookish thing you love using as a prop in your pics or videos? Probably just my bookcase. Um, I don't really use a ton of props in my pics on Instagram. As many of you, if you follow me, will know, I just use the book. <laughs> the book is my main prop. I love simplicity. I love pictures that there's not a lot going on. Plus, I'm not very good at putting a lot of props into a picture and then taking the picture of it. It just doesn't look right to me. Um, so I just kind of see something, whether it's an angle or just maybe a natural prop like the outdoors or something, and I use that in my videos. Um, but I do love using my bookcase as a background for a lot of them too. Question number seven, three books you are dying to reread but probably never will. I have not been big on rereading um, just in general. I've gotten more into it in the last year or so since joining booktube. Um, but one series that I've already reread once was Game of Thrones. I don't think I will reread it a third time, even though I might want to when the next book comes out, if it ever comes out. Um, so that is definitely one, I will say, book or series that I won't reread. Another one probably being The Night Circus. Um, as much as I loved reading it the first time, I feel like if I read it a second time, I may not like it as much and I don't want to ruin my perception of it. So I probably won't go back and reread that. And let's see, a third one. Um, mm, I've already read um, the Dark Tower series, at least the four, first four books, twice. So I probably won't go back and reread those unless he came out with like another Dark Tower series book, but I don't think that will be the case. So I don't think I have anything to worry about. Question number eight is amazing bookish finds. These can be books, book things, book moments. Um, for me, it's really literally my books. I do not buy brand new very often. So when I walk into a secondhand store or walk into like my library sales, the books that I find, I may go in with like a list of some books that I would like to try to look for, but otherwise it's just books that I'm just finding randomly. And I absolutely love that. I think that there's no greater thrill than walking into like a bookstore, like a secondhand bookstore or whatever, and just finding something that you weren't expecting. So a lot of the stuff that are here on my shelves were finds. Question number nine, hottest author crush. I laughed when I read this one because I don't really look at authors too often. Like unless I find them, stumble across them on Twitter or something, I don't really go by their looks. As far as crushing on them, I'm more crushing on their writing. And I absolutely crush on like Robin Hobb, Stephen King, um, Frederick Bachman is a new recent one that I'm crushing on. Um, I don't know, George R. R. Martin. I just crush on people where I feel like what they write is something that I aspire to be able to do maybe one day. If I ever get the time to sit down and actually write a book, that would be amazing. But yeah, I definitely crush on their talent. So any authors that you hear me mention that I say, oh, this is one of my new favorite authors. Yeah, I'm definitely crushing on their writing style. And those were all the questions for the OK So Booksically tag. I'm going to tag a few people. I will leave them down below. I like to do my research and find out who has done it and who hasn't done it. Um, so once I post this, I will leave those down below. So go ahead and look for your name. If I do post your name down below, I will try to contact you either through YouTube or Twitter somehow um, to let you know that I have tagged you. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys really want to do this and I did not tag you, please still feel free to go ahead and do it. Hope you guys have a great week and happy reading.